Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we are back doing a processing game and this one is called Aqua Nimble. It is the demo version which you can get for free and basically this game is trying to get on Steam Greenlights. I'm not exactly sure if it already has or uh, anything like that, but the demo itself is very fun. I mean, it's your typical arcade shooter. Uh, you can actually set all of the controls independently from each other. So as you can see, I've set up my Xbox controller just so it's easier to control. You have different uh, little aircraft, and you can unlock some, as shown. So, let's try and actually find one, which we have, <laughs> so we can use it. We have this one and this one. So let's go for lack and platter. Like, it's obviously... Oops. Uh, it's obviously not a crazily sophisticated game, but one of the interesting mechanics I really like from it, which I've never seen in a game like this, really, is uh, the fact that if you get hit, then your attacks decrease, like the, your level of attack decreases. So as you can see already, there's a hell of a lot going on on the screen, and that's kind of an issue I always have with these games, because I find it very hard to tell what's going on. But with a controller, it's a hell of a lot easier. But, uh, okay. But anyway, as I was saying, ooh, I got different attacks this time. Uh, as you get hit, if you get power-ups, then you lose that power-up. It's as simple as that, and then you basically lose uh, everything from that. Now, obviously, as you can tell, I'm not very skilled at games like this, but I really enjoy them. Like, it, it's one of those kind of... Um, uh, it's one of those things with gaming. Uh, I think it's, it is true. Uh, with gaming. Uh, I don't think it's really true with any other genre where you can be not very good at something and still kind of enjoy it. I mean, when we look at uh, something like Dark Souls, I mean, Dark Souls is a perfect example of something which is, you know, you, un unless you're a master at timing and everything like that, you are going to die. It's kind of designed that way, at least the later ones. How dare you, sir, running straight into me. And because of that, it basically means uh, that, you know, you, you have to get used to failure. You, ha <sighs> you have to get used to it. I'm just going to try and uh, keep moving constantly. It seems like the best idea. You, you have to get used to the idea of uh, not always succeeding, which I think games does pretty well. I mean, there aren't many other things out there which is kind of like that. I mean, if you lose in a sporting event, you don't really get enjoyment out of the fact that you lost. A lot of it is based on the fact that you won. Uh, you can have a really good game like there were certain times in my past where I had, you know, uh, really good uh, rugby games or really good cricket games, really close ones, but you still feel absolutely devastated after you lose. And some people see that as, as a good thing, and it is a good thing in a way. Uh, but it's also can be a bad thing because it can obviously screw you up a bit mentally and stuff like that. But with this game, and with many arcade games like this, it's... Did I get hit there? I might have got hit there. Uh, it's more about the fact that it's, you know, okay, I failed this time, right? I failed, which is bad, but I can just start it again. Uh, it's kind of as simple as that. It looks like we've... Right, that was just fucking cheap. <laughs> let's go restart game. Yeah, let's, uh, let's start over. And there you go, you can see all of the wonderful uh, things there. You get a giga charge and everything like that, you know, standard procedure. If you get a crazy combo, it lets you do crazy things. Uh, that's basically how it works. And it seems like uh, every time you get different power-ups, or at least it seems like that. Is that footballs? What's going on with that? Bloody hell, there's just shit all over my screen. And yeah, as, as I said before, it kind of gets to the point, at least for me personally, when I'm playing these games. That um, there's too much stuff going on on the screen, and I just can't tell what's going on. I mean, my eyesight isn't the best at the best of times. It's uh, sometimes some of the worst. I should really use my glasses. But um, as I was saying, like with games like this, you can get really far and you can fail, and it's much more about repeating that experience and trying to beat you know yourself, trying to beat where you got to last time. Where when it comes to sports or something like that, sometimes it can be so devastating when you're uh, you lose that really close match and also you may only play them once a year so uh, basically you have that one chance a year to have that really close match and then once it's over and you lose well you like uh, that kind of sucks and that's really about it bloody hell piss off son 
so these guys seem to home. Okay, so they home in. So we've got to be a, uh, got to be a bit careful about that. Uh, and yeah, uh, uh, I'm sure a lot of people find the thrill in that in sports. For me personally, there is a slight thrill about it, but it is not lasting. The good thing about gaming is that it is lasting. Like, uh, you know, if I have a bad day of playing this game and it doesn't go very well, I can always pick it up tomorrow, play the same experience, play the same levels and everything like that, try and get better at it. Repeat, uh, rinse and repeat. Trial and improvement, all that jazz. The rumble is coming on my controller, I have no idea why. I turned that off, but it doesn't seem to decide that it wants to turn off. Now, the thing is, uh, there's a lot of games on Steam. Many, many games on Steam. And a lot of them are not very good, or they're definitely not up to par. There's a lot of just random little free games which aren't very good. Uh, and, to be honest, there's a lot of games that you can pay for which are not very good. One of these examples is a game called Air Control. I'm not sure if it's still on Steam, but the fact that it was ever on Steam in the first place shows that there is a real issue with the system. So I don't see why a game like this cannot go through Steam Greenlights, cannot be able uh, to go through the standard process for uh, indie games, because, as you can see, it's a pretty decent little game. I mean, it does it break it? Does it, you know, break the mold? Does it do anything crazy interesting? No, it doesn't. Uh, is it a well-functioning game? Does it run at 60 FPS straight off? Of course it does. Like, oh, come on, there was no way I was getting out of that. Uh, you may be seeing it at 30, but as you can see in that little counter in the bottom, I love it that the fact that this game has that inbuilt. I wish all games did. <laughs> to be quite honest, just a little FPS tracker and stuff like that, and uh, latency. I didn't hit that. Uh, a little latency thing, uh, especially in online games. Oh, there's no way I can dodge them. That was that was ridiculous. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here. Let's try the different aircraft that we have. And I'm going to have to go through them all again, because... Uh, let's try this one actually. 100% armor from Pachak Charles, dual narrow at 100 damage, 50% slower. Obviously, all of the aircraft have different attributes and stuff like that. Being a demo, it's going to be quite hard to unlock them. When it comes to the actual weapons, I don't think uh, it matters by the aircraft. I think they all seem to have, like, uh, you basically, whatever you spawn with, uh, you, uh, you kind of get. And it seems to be different every time. Now that can be a good thing, that can be a bad thing. It can be good for variety, some people may really enjoy that. And the on the flip side of the coin, that could be really annoying for some people because they want an experience which, you know, as, as I talked about the whole trial, uh, rinse and repeat thing, what they want is something where uh, they want something very similar every time so they know what uh, they are going to be getting so they can work on that. They can basically improve uh, from a uh, standard point where some people want the variety, want the randomness, so it would be nice if there was an option just to change that. Basically have it where if you want a certain standard weapon at the start, you can pick it. So therefore you don't have the random starting weapon. So maybe, you know, when, when people are looking to min-max and stuff like that... Uh, whoa, buddy! Okay. When people are looking to min-max and stuff like that, they're basically allowed to. Instead of having to uh, hope on whatever weapon you, uh, they get. Uh, as you can see, i got a different weapon this time. It's a very cool weapon. It's a very interesting weapon. I really like the variety of weapons. The fact that uh, there's generally more than one thing going on at once is very interesting. I think that's what games like this need. If, if you only have a singular beam and stuff like that, it can be incredibly uh, boring in the uh, starting levels. Because, obviously... Whoa... Oh my god, Supersonic. Um, it, it can be incredibly boring in the early levels, because what the hell is that? Uh, because you basically you have a single beam, then you have a double beam, then you maybe a triple beam, then maybe uh, it turns so it fires at a slight angle and stuff like that. Uh, so it, it's nice to see in this game that there's a hell of a lot different stuff. And also it tells you how much damage you're doing to enemies and everything like that, which is very nice. I mean, uh, basically, as I said, when it comes to uh, trying to get... Uh, when you're trying to get a very hardcore audience into a game like this, which, you know, I mean, there, there are lots... There is a hardcore audience for a game like this. Uh, otherwise, arcade games wouldn't have been as, succe as successful as they were back in the day. 
And... Oh, we had the chain there. That was a nice chain. Let's try and get this guy dead. There we go. And these guys are all going to come after me, of course. Oh my god, they're coming from all angles and there's no way I can get away from them. Uh, yeah, but if if uh, if the idea of um, trying to better your high score and everything like that uh, didn't exist, then these games would have just not been successful in the era of arcade games. Uh, maybe you could say they, you know, they could have been successful because there was nothing else around. I mean, I disagree with that because there was a lot, even in days where you had arcade centers and stuff like that in and around the town. Uh, there was still a lot of variety in the games you could play. So, obviously as a genre, if people didn't enjoy doing this, then... Looks like we have some uh, targeted lasers, that's nice. Uh, if, if people didn't enjoy this type of game, didn't enjoy the idea of the whole min-maxing, trying to beat your high score every time, and basically, by doing that, trying to do different things, and... Uh, try and do uh, try and work out different ways and stuff like that then obviously they would have died out something that I'm not sure is uh, uh, is true or not it seems like with this game that hit me really uh, it seems like the pattern stays constant if you uh, start a new game once again after getting uh, after dying basically so that is something that is uh, kind of nice so you don't just have random enemies all the time so you can't just get kind of screwed by someone right at the start if you don't have a lot of power-ups or anything like that but generally uh, the power-ups can also be a detriment I mean they they can give you a weapon which you don't enjoy sometimes uh, oh dear that's a snake as you can see with these weapons I'm very much happy because they're targeted weapons and they're gonna screw this guy up as I go around <laughs> it's nice to see a dragon uh, but, um, uh, so, oh, we can go over here. So hopefully that's how it works. If it doesn't work like that, that'll be very annoying. Uh, because basically it means that you won't be able to work out. Ooh, we've zoomed out a bit. Oh dear, hello. Right, so we're fighting some evil monster. And the evil mon- oh dear. Oh dear, hello. I hit that, really? Okay, let's try and keep away from them. Looks like we're blowing them up. What? I'm continuing that. Screw that. Screw you, sir. Guy, please go up. Thank you. Let's see. Does it start me off at the start of the level again? No. Okay, it starts me off here. That's cool. So we can try and kill him. See what happens. But yeah, if... if oh, dear. Oh, there's no way I'm getting out of that. That was just painful. That's uh, something where I have to learn the patterns. Looks like they're firing at me. Oh dear. Right. Okay. <sighs> where am I? There I am. Right, let's get these power up. This is going horribly wrong, ladies and gentlemen. I truly. Woo! I truly, truly. I'm sorry. Looks like the targeted weapons can be useful here. You can also do a little boost as well, but I haven't seemed to figure out how it works, so it doesn't seem to work on the controller. This could be an issue with me setting up the um, the controller, so don't blame the game. That's just cheeky. Let's try and kill this guy. We have four turns to do it in. We should be able to. Let's get those crazy weapons firing. Right, so these are targeted. It seems like he doesn't have a standard pattern of, uh... Oh, I can't go past him? Alright then. That's kind of annoying. I got kind of stuck there. Uh, it seems like there's some kind of, uh... There, there, sorry, there doesn't seem to be some kind of standard pattern to how he attacks. Uh, so we've got to keep that in mind. So there, there's probably no way of working out how he's going to attack or which way he's going to attack. That's just... Uh, that's just asshole territory right there. He is on fire though, so that's good. We are at least getting somewhere. At least it seems like we're getting somewhere, which is nice. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh dear. He's going all over the place. Watch out for the rockets. Bloody hell, you don't really get much time to uh, work out where he's coming from. That would have, that would be kind of nice 
But then again, I could probably learn that from the queues uh, that are going on. Right, so we've got targeted stuff now, so basically we'll just... Oh. I was going to say, just try and stay away from the rockets and everything like that, so that didn't end up going too well. Oh, give up. As you can see, I'm not very good at these games, but I enjoy them, and that is the main thing when it comes to gaming. It's not, as I said before, it's not always about being the best or anything like that. Gen cheeky. Uh, when it's uh, between friends and stuff, I mean, for me personally, you don't get a lot of time to react. Uh, for me personally, it's all about co-op. Uh, I really enjoy games which are co-op orientated. Right, where's it going to come from now? Okay. Uh, which are co-op orientated, not just... Uh, there's no way of uh, no way of getting around them. Not just uh, PvP. Like PvP is still fun. Like that's why I enjoy games like War Thunder and stuff like that. But it's not the be all and end all when it comes to it. Uh, Co-op games, in my opinion, are much more fun than PvP. That's why I enjoy Path of Exile. That's why I enjoy playing games with uh, friends and everything like that. Right, so that's that dead. Is he dead? Nope, still not dead. Alright, so now he's just firing rockets blindly into the air. So we've got to... We've got to basically just watch the rockets instead of really worrying where our shots are going. It looks like we've done some damage to him though, which is good. Looks like we've got a faster ability to shoot. It looks like he's coming from wherever he wants. Bloody hell, hello. That's a lot of fire coming off you, sir. Watch out. Oh, that did not hit me. I'm sorry, that did not hit me. I'm not going to blame the game for that. I think I need, I need to have a look at that on uh, replay. Every time. Every time. Oh, we've got some kind of wave now. Right, where's he coming from? There he is. Right, let's just keep moving. Keep moving. That's all we have to do. That's right. Whoa! Okay. Oh. I did the hard part and then I ran into him. Which is awesome. Should be able to fit through there. Should be able to fit through here. Should be able to fit through here. Yes, this is going well. Oh dear. Hmm. <laughs> that part didn't go as well. Oh, come on, get it. Right, there we go. Whoa. Okay, are these kind of guided? It looks like they're kind of guided. Maybe they're just going in... Yeah. Oh, there's no way of dodging that. You have to kind of stay closer to the center of the screen. Uh, so I need to do that in the future, or at least try to. There we go, that's better. Ah! Last try, here we go. This is for all of the money. Killing a giant spaceship in a midges one. Hello sir, how are you doing? All right, let's see if we can dodge these once again. Looks like we can so far. Could you please stop shooting? Okay. I have no idea how to dodge that, I've just kind of got to get hit by it, just to kind of get rid of it. Looks like we survived that round, let's stay over here, try and keep all the rockets over there, looks like it worked, we blew up something, and now we have much more power at our disposal to take out the ship in front of us. Let's just dodge all of the rockets coming in, good stuff, let's get that C, yes, yes, this is good. This is good. So we're at stage three of this, I believe. But as you can see, my weapons have got a lot worse, or it seems like they've got a lot worse. I mean, they might not have. But we can just stay over here and keep wailing on him since we have uh, something which fires uh, sideways, which seems to be a bit cheating, but you know how it is. Sometimes you've got to exploit the system, otherwise uh, you're just going to lose. It's kind of interesting looking at the actual ship itself. There's a lot of damage on it, which is kind of nice. It shows uh, different stages of attack and things like that. I, I always like that in games when uh, that, that happens. Like, uh, in been playing a lot of Dying Light, uh, me and Jag, and basically in the expansion, you get these massive goons. I mean, you get, you get them in the normal game, but they're not as varied, and they don't normally charge at you. But they're normally wearing armor. Uh, so, in order to hurt them, you have to knock their armor off. So they wear helmets, they wear padded armor on the tops, uh, they wear... Oh, really? Oh, that was awful. Uh, they wear, like, metal on them and stuff like that. So... 
What the fuck? Am I doing anything? Oh, he's just following me. Asshole. I have a snake. <laughs> he's not following me anymore. Uh, so basically... I don't even know how to dodge that. Uh, so basically, yeah, there, there's a bit of tactics to it and everything like that, which is always interesting. Uh, but he's on fire again. Is he dead? He's dead. Oh, my dear. <laughs> and now we're on to the next level. Let's just see how far we get to. I mean, we only have two lives. I don't really see us going far, but we have a massive fireball at our, uh, at our disposal. We have all of these interesting things. I think we might have just started again, actually. I remember this from the start of the first level. Uh... I have to look at all the information and rewatch it, obviously. There we go. Take out all of the random things like that. Oh, we have a D. Oh my god, we've got a laser. What is that? Bloody hell, look at the rapid fire on this damn thing. It's after you've gone out on a bender on a night and basically you're trying to... <laughs> trying to... <laughs> Trying to piss in a straight line, basically, to put it nicely. Look at the amount of stuff coming out of our ship right now. Oh, we could we could definitely take on a Dalek Empire. We could take on everything, and it would be absolutely wonderful. Is this a minus? Yeah. So, so you have negative and positive upgrades, so you have to pick and choose what is best for you. I think that's actually really good. Obviously, if everything's positive, then there's no reason not to go for it. Uh, let's get the bonus of that. It looks like we're actually doing pretty well right now. And when I say that, I mean we're about to die from these things because they follow you around the screen. That's good, though. We've been able to dodge them. Let's try and do it again. Here we go! Whoa, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, we're good, we're good. We blew some up in the process. That's always fun. And that, Oh, we hit something there. Killed these guys, which is lovely. Let's get whatever that is. Oh, God, there's too much going on the screen. My eyes are hurting. My eyes are killing me. Question mark. Of course, take the question mark. Oh, dear. Just try and get... Kill all the ones in front of my face. That's all I care about right now. There we go. Wonderful stuff. Let's just move down the line. Murder all of your people. And now we have... Death. That's what we have. We have death. Right, so we have one more life. There we go. Let's kill these things. Yeah, it, it just kind of it looks like a repeat of the uh, level. So maybe that's what the demo is. The demo is just the first level or whatever level this may be. So yeah, if you enjoy this game and it's still on uh, Steam Greenlight, go and check it out. Uh, give it a thumbs up because I mean, as you can see, like the the quality of this game is already better than a lot of games which are on Steam. So. It perplexes me that it doesn't isn't already allowed on Steam unless it's not completed. Then again, you've got early access and everything like that. And if you don't have that and you believe in something else, then you know, uh, just get it on Greenlight and get it fully done up, and then sell it for money, basically. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.